I was super shaky. Thought I was gonna screw it all up, so <laughs> that was pretty fun. He's an intimidating dude, so I'm glad it turned out all right. Yeah, this is Jeremiah Barba. I'm uh, from Outer Limits Tattoo in Long Beach, California. Working on a knee piece here. I'm with friend Jeremy. Yeah, I got into tattooing. My mom is Carrie Barba. Uh, she's been a tattoo artist for got about 30 years and uh, she's one of the best female tattoo artists around, one of the first innovators. So I pretty much grew up around the shop and um, just learning everything from her. Grew up, I was there every day after school and uh, at first I didn't want a tattoo but um, ended up needing money and got into it for the wrong reasons but it ended up working out good. I enjoy tattooing so I've been yeah tattooing for about 15 years now and um, love it. I've been here at the shop for about five and a half, I'd have to say, here at the Bergrim's old location. And uh, this place is just awesome to work at. It's got a lot of history in it. Not a day goes by when someone doesn't stop by and say they've uh, used to come here when they were a kid or got tattooed, their first tattoo here. This place is great. A lot of old timers started here. And it just adds a lot of culture to this place. Yeah, I, I mean, I pretty much specialize in uh, my style is pretty much dark art, um, evil faces, skulls of that sort. But I really do everything. I, I really try to just focus on black and gray, but even black and gray with little hits of color, like the fusion style. I love that. Um, well, that's pretty much what I do and my specialty, so I try to stick with those kind of things. Here and there, I'll take some other stuff just to have some fun with it, but uh, that's pretty much what I'm known for, is the whole black and gray thing, so that's what I like to do. It's fun. It's inspired by the music I used to listen to, a lot of metal. That's where the imagery kind of comes from. It's from old metal lyrics, stuff like that. It's just a lot of fun to kind of mix those two together and the things that I used to trip out on on metal music I get to put on people's bodies now. Yeah, usually when I'm not tattooing I'm doing some sort of artwork either studying people's tattoo work or I also do a lot of uh, oil painting I've been really getting into and loving that. Uh, just trying to focus on that and learn more techniques of the whole masters and everything like that. That's always a lot of fun. I love to go home and paint. Or, you know, recently been trying to get back into just doing a lot more drawing at home as well, not just painting. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do in my off time. I really don't do too much else. And that's kind of sad, but I guess it helps out in the end. <laughs> Yeah, when I was little, I got to meet a bunch of punk rock bands. She used to tattoo a lot of like Exploited, Agnostic Front, the Crow Mags, all the original kind of old school punk bands. And um, I was just a little kid running around the shop and was able to meet these people, get albums from them when I was just super little. And that's kind of like where my whole obsession of the whole punk rock and metal tattoos came from and the imagery. It just started at a young age from her tattooing them. Uh, got to see her tattoo David Lee Roth as well, and just all kinds of people like that. It was fun, interesting growing up around the shop and the kind of things you see and the artists that started coming in getting tattooed by her before they were really known and now they're really famous artists. Just to see that whole transition has just been amazing. Like uh, seeing Guy Atchison get tattooed by my mom before he was really totally well known. and. Um, Tintin from Paris, and uh, man, there's so many people that I probably can't remember all of them now, but there's a lot of history there. A 
Yeah, it's just crazy. The whole industry has changed a lot. The art's gotten better. There's definitely a lot more saturation, maybe a little too much. But um, as far as like clientele, it's, it's just growing and it seems to be really, really popular now. I guess the TV shows have a lot to do with that too. But it's getting a lot more accepted in society, so it's kind of allowing a lot of people to get a lot more extensive work. And that always makes it fun. It's a lot busier now. A lot of conventions, every every city seems to be having a convention every weekend. Which is kind of, a, you know, they're nice and they're fun. Some of them are outstanding, but some of them are just a bummer. You know, they don't they allow anybody in to tattoo or whatever. But uh, it's definitely opened up a lot of doors for people, which some of them wouldn't have got an opportunity maybe to. And now they're making a big difference in the industry. So it's got its good and its bad. But uh, I'm definitely curious to see how the future of tattooing goes with all the new regulations and everything. It'll be really neat to see how it goes. I've had a lot of influences actually in tattooing. I grew up looking at tattoo magazines. So always since like the first ones were out, I mean, I'd have to say like I first started really getting into Aaron Kane's work and um, Philip Lou. Paul Booth, uh, Guy Atchison, and a lot of those influences haven't changed since then. Um, still some of my favorite artists. Now today though, I've added some new people. Uh, one of my biggest influences is Robert Hernandez. Uh, I just think he's a real true artist as well as tattoo artist. Um, and then also uh, Victor Portugal is really another one I look up to. He does some great work. I mean, there's so many good people. I mean, everybody I worked with you back when I worked in New York, all those guys are really good. Ethan Morgan, man, the list goes on. Bob Tyrell. There are so many good people in the business now. It's so hard to even um, keep up with all of them. It seems like I'm finding out about somebody new every day from a different part of the country that's just amazing. And sometimes it's inspiring. Sometimes it makes you just want to throw away your portfolio. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, uh, Carlos Torres and all those guys, Josh Duffy from Timeline, they're doing amazing work too. And uh, just seeing people really pushing the boundaries and everything they do, it's just it's incredible nowadays. It's, it's so different than it was, you know, 10 years ago. Right? And that, that makes it inspiring. It makes you want to keep tattooing. Let's see, I've tattooed a few notable people. I tattooed... Uh, well, one in the tattoo industry that's my favorite is uh, Bob Tyrell I tattooed and I did a small black tooth on him uh, as a memorial tattoo for Dimebag Darrell's death. And then I also did um, one on Kerry King from Slayer and uh, that was a lot of fun. He also did a uh, tattoo me too, so it was the only second tattoo he's ever done. So that was pretty awesome. And I tattooed his wife too the same night. Both uh, black teeth as well for Dimebag Darrell's. Uh, passing, a little memorial tattoo I've done on uh, quite a few people. I've also tattooed a bunch of uh, like pro BMX riders like uh, uh, Corey Nostagio and Stephen Murray, Luke Parslow, uh, Ryan Guttmer, quite a few of the BMX freestyle guys, as well as some, uh, some NFL players like um, Dan Copen, um, Sammy Morris, uh, Lonnie Paxton. Well, Daniel Graham. There's been quite a few of uh, some NFL players as well. But I have to say, like, uh, definitely Kerry King was my favorite because I was always a huge Slayer fan. So finally to get to tattoo him after being a fan my whole life was just amazing. I was super shaky. Thought I was going to screw it all up. So <laughs> that was pretty fun. He's an intimidating dude. So I'm glad it turned out all right. So that's definitely my favorite one. Yeah, I also tattooed Evan Rachel Wood from, um, she's an actress. She was in True Blood and the movie The Wrestler, and all kinds of stuff. She was really cool too. Um, I did a small Edgar Allan Poe tattoo on the back of her neck, so it wasn't like a big, crazy big deal, but it was fun to tattoo her. She's a cool person. In 10 years? Man, I don't, I don't know. I, you know, 10 years ago I might not have thought I'd even still be doing this. But uh, here I am still trucking away, so I guess 
I've pretty much just fallen in my foot to steps of my mom and uh, just okay, probably gonna be here forever <laughs> you know like tattooing forever that's what it seems like as long as I, I can keep doing it I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going yeah also in 10 years my daughter will be probably old enough to tattoo so she might be doing that as well she's an awesome artist so we'll see then I'll be having to look out for the third generation <laughs> Just did a small Edgar Allan Quo photo. on Edgar Allan Quo. Oh, Edgar Allan Quo. <laughs> Quo. I don't know what a you know. The shit sucks. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs>